Good morning, everybody. Hello, and welcome to a brand new vlog. Um, I'm not heading to Magic Kingdom today. Um, I'm actually heading home today. This is um, Future Max filming the uh, intro to this video because Max's camera had an issue where, like, the footage he filmed in the beginning before he got to Magic Kingdom, it didn't work, so... I'm filming this intro now. Um, I'm not going to talk about traveling home. I'm just going to talk about what we're doing um, in the intro before we get to Magic Kingdom. Um, so we are downstairs in the Everything Pop food court. Um, we got some breakfast. We got pancakes, waffles, sausage, bacon, eggs, a cookies and cream cupcake. Two things of these brownies that I ended up picking up some more to take home with me. I feel like the brownies have been the theme of this trip. Um, so brownies, cupcakes, pancakes, waffles, eggs, sausage, bacon, all that stuff. And then we eat that. We head back to the, back to the room uh, for a little chill. Um, before we take the bus over to Magic Kingdom. So I really do hope you enjoy the vlog. Um, and I'm gonna shut up now. Enjoy the rest of the video. Take it away, past Max. Just, we have just I made it into the Magic Kingdom. Um, look at that tree. To think it's only been like 13 hours since I've last been here. And it feels like a new reaction. To be in here, it's so beautiful. Look at that. Um, so we've just entered the park. Uh, we took the bus from Pop Century over here. Um, we didn't really have to wait that much um, because we did have one o'clock tickets. It's like 12:45 right now. Um, we plan on heading straight to Tomorrowland to do the TTA, the People Mover, because that is like the best first ride to do. Um, cause I love the people who are Looks rather crowded for a party night. Um, and to think like, the party festivity, no, because yesterday, obviously we lined up to get our wristbands at like, 3 o'clock. Today we have less on the party agenda, so we can line up a little later, and we're not gonna do it from the New Fantasyland spot, we're actually gonna do it from the Adventureland spot. Um, just as a test to see which one moves faster, since we're not rushing anywhere, to a certain extent. So I'm actually in my own vehicle right now. My dad's down there, we ended up riding, we ended up riding solo. So I'm just relaxing, living my best life. Living my best Disney life. This is, this is the life I'm approaching Tomorrowland Speedway and Tron Light Cycle Run. I love a good circuit, and these are two of the best tracks of the cosmos yeah, for my feet up. Light, speedy there we go. Today, um, we're gonna try to get the six o'clock morning group slot uh, when they release more at six. And uh, fingers crossed that works out for us. Um, after this, we plan on heading to, I believe, Space Mountain. We're speaking of Space Mountain. There it is. This is Star Wars 75. I'm 
not sure I showed what shirt I'm wearing. I'm wearing my Storybook Circus cast member shirt. Etsy. 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 Before Space Mountain, we have to go meet Stitch. It's not that long of a line, so we're gonna go for it. Stitch. I promise you, Stitch. I promise. <laughs> everybody sees. Everybody sees. There we go. So, happy National Brownie Day. Great seeing you. Bye. Don't forget his handler. Hey, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye. Have a great day. Today's National Brownie Day. An excuse for eating the bags of brownies I had. And we saw Stitch. Yeah. All right, let's go do Space Mountain. They call it, there's something in the sky on their highway. Oh, that was so much fun. Oh, wow. That was good. That was good. Just finished up on Space Mountain. That, I, that ride is so much fun. Um, now we're heading over to Seven Doors Mine Train to use our lightning lane. It's around 1.30 at the moment. Um, so our lightning lane is for technically now. Um, so we're going to go use that up. Dad, what do you think we're doing after Mine Train? Big Thunder. No, Big Haunted, haunted Mansion. And we're going to see the Hatbox Ghost again. Love it. A super rare occasion of there being absolutely no line for Winnie the Pooh. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there, here's a rare occasion of there being line, uh, no line for Winnie That's the Pooh and Tigger. So, um... Uh, Dad, do you want to wait? No, it's a flower. Oh, that's, oh, they're not, oh, the line's closed. That's why. All right, my train, here we go. Oh my gosh, I love the. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, better go back to You said you wanted a photo. Oh, yeah. Um, so, with, that's okay. With this uh, cast member shirt on, I always got to make it a point to take a picture with the cast members in which I'm wearing the shirt of. So after this, we do need to head to Storybook Circus so I can take a picture with one of the cast members there in this outfit. Oh, one! Here we go. Lap bar down. Lap bar down, you ready? Ready! Here we go. Ready! Here we go. Quick, get a dig, 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 go shovel earth in a mine, in a mine, in a mine. I hope, 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 I So we're off into Storybook Circus um, to go see 
if I can get a picture with any of the cast members there wearing this outfit. Um, so yep, we're heading in there now. I definitely can tell that the park is crowded at the moment, like rather crowded. So we just walked by Jenny the Little Mermaid attraction. Yeah, uh, we just pa walked past the Jenny the Little Mermaid attraction and that is a entire 30 minute wait. And that is, yeah, and that is not really usual for that attraction. So you get, that just shows you how crowded it really is. The Barnstormer, okay, the Barnstormer has a 30 minute wait as well. So that just shows you how crowded it is. Um, it is a Friday. It is, um, I really, that's all I could say. It's a Friday. I'm not sure why else it would be this crowded. Um, so yeah. Shout out to the lovely Emily that was working at the Barnstormer. That is who I took my picture with. Um, if I remember, <laughs> I'll put the picture right here or after this clip somewhere. This thing is like a 15 minute wait. Before we head over to Haunted Mansion and Big Thunder Mountain, we actually popped into P. Tilly Sideshow to go meet Donald and Goofy because it's only about a 15 minute wait, I think they said. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so it's about a 15 minute wait. Um, and so we're going to go meet Donald and Goofy and then head over to the Liberty Square slash Frontierland section of the park. Donald, how are you? Number one. I, I, it's like I work outside, right? Number one. Are you see? What are you doing in here? I know I should probably get. I should probably get back to work. But I had to stop and say hi to Donald first, of course. Number one, obviously. Donald, I love your outfit. You look amazing, as always. But Donald, Donald is so much fun. That was a blast. We're gonna skip Minnie and Daisy for now. Um, we might go back and see them during the Christmas party, which begins. I'm. Well, I'm okay. Um, we might go back and see them. Um, well, for the party, which is actually starting to gonna begin soon. Um, it's about like two o'clock now, so clock is ticking until the Christmas festivities do begin again. Um, so right now we're making our way over to the Liberty Square portion of the park uh, to do go uh, fulfill our lightning lane of Big Thunder Mountain and Haunted Mansion. Just got out of Haunted Mansion, now making our way over to Big Thunder for our Lightning Lane. Um, it's about 2.38, so once we're done with Big Thunder, uh, we might have to start looking to get wristbands for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party tonight. I have my Christmas sweater in my bag. I do believe the Santa hat is in there as well. Um, and so I'll put on that once it gets a little bit cooler out. Or just simply once the sun sets a little bit and it's a little bit more Christmassy out here. The ropes are set off for the 3 p.m. Festival of Fantasy Parade. Uh, maybe we'll catch a little bit of that. I don't... Um, it, it all depends on, like, timing, getting off of Big Thunder, to heading to the Adventureland, uh, Tortuga Tavern, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party wristband distribution line. So it all really all depends on timing. Mine's like the three. We're going to vloggers so then that way all get 
a little view of T uh, construction on Siana's Bayou Adventure. Making some good progress over here. Um, so, once we get off of Big Thunder, me and my dad are actually gonna split. He's gonna go to the Tortuga Tavern uh, line for the party band distribution. Well, I watch the parade somewhere in Frontierland. I say Frontierland because I want it to be easy for me to get to Adventureland from my parade spot, which the only re logical place to watch the parade and have it easy to get to Adventureland is Frontierland, where it steps off. Here it comes. Y mantenga sus manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren. Cuide a sus pequeñitos. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Here we go. Oh, whoa. So my dad and I have split. I am uh, in Frontierland watching the parade while my dad is in Adventureland uh, holding the spot for the wristband distrib distribution. Um, I have a pretty good spot. I'm right in front of the seating area in Peco's, uh, outside of Peco's Bill. Um, so I'm gonna enjoy the parade and then uh, go meet him, my dad online, at uh, Tulsuga Tavern. And look who I'm joined by. Hello. What are you looking for? Chippendale and Mr. Smee like we normally do. Hi Wendy! Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Mr. Smee! We'll get him next time. We'll get him next time. I do believe we'll be meeting him later during the Christmas party. Here we 
go. Let's see if we can get Chip and Dale to say hi to us. Hi. Dale! Hi. Parade has now ended. I'm going against majority of the traffic over in the opposite direction to Adventureland uh, to meet my dad by Tortuga Tavern. Uh, for the wristband distribution. I chose a great spot. They start giving out the bands at 3... no, 4. And it's only like 3.15, so we have plenty of time. Um, so I'm just gonna take my time walking there. I want to make one thing perfectly clear. I don't recommend lining up this early for wristbands. It is 3.15ish in the afternoon, and they start giving them out at 4. Nowhere do I recommend waiting that much. Um, especially if you're going for... Yesterday was a more like, we gotta do this, this, and this party. This is a more like, laid back party. Um, I'm okay. Um, laid back party, yet we're still lining up pretty much the same time or even a little earlier than yesterday. I can't remember the exact time we lined up for last party. Um, I recommend taking, I recommend lining up for your response at 3.30. We lined up around three o'clock and we are the only ones here along with the cast members. It feels like we're stalking the cast members. Um, so that's just my recommendation. 3.30 is best, um, but we're like, we're odd. So we're gonna go three o'clock. Oh my God. And you've got it with the upside down cake too. It's my guilty pleasure. I've had a cake. Okay. You're gonna have some too, right? I yeah, of course. Oh, Lord Almighty. All right, so I'm gonna try to attempt to pick this up. Oh my God, never mind. It's gonna stay right there before I drop this whole thing. <laughs> Thanks. That is delicious, my God. So the Adventureland line is wrapping around um, the Adventureland stage just 10 minutes before 4, which is why I still stick with the fact that 3.15, 3.30 is the perfect time. But as I said, we wanted to, we ended up getting here at 3 because we literally had nothing else to do. Although we could have done something else, it's better to just get it over with. So we had nothing else to do but to just get it over with. This is why we ended up sticking um, to getting it at three. Got our wristbands. Oh yeah, because we were on yesterday. The new fantasy land. Thank you. Checking into our lightning lane for Pirates of the Caribbean. Love that smell as soon as you, that smell of the water as soon as cool, that cool water smell as soon as you walk in is the refreshing. Here we go. Here is the Jingle Cruise. We couldn't get it. We couldn't get a lightning lane for that. That was way too crazy. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we got it for like ten o'clock. We got it for like ten o'clock this morning. We were still like half asleep from last night. In fact, I don't think I was even awake because we went down for breakfast at like ten thirty. There are a few things new about this year's Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, including some new character meet and greets, including the toy soldiers uh, that we see in the parade and at the entrance of Magic Kingdom during the Christmas season. Um, they have a meet and greet behind that walkway, 
um, where you can get where you can enter the park and get your first uh, ornament. So we're actually gonna head there now in hopes of meeting the toy soldiers. Skipper Canteen. Hope to try that one day. But yeah, we're heading down that area now in hopes of meeting the toy soldiers. The line does get redonkulous. So I hope we hope that it's like 4.15 now. So we hope that uh, some of the crowds have maybe cleared out a little bit and the line is not that long. Here is the Crystal Palace. Uh, yep, well the stage show's going on down there. But I'm looking at the Crystal Palace. Um, well, sorry, the charger got in the way. Um, anyway, yeah, so we're heading down that alleyway now, hoping to see the toy soldiers. Just go to appreciate this castle for a second. So beautiful. Just got some photo pass taken. That was fun. Um, I'll do my best to uh, include any pictures I have. Um, if I, by the time I'm editing this, they have came through because I'm gonna try to edit some of this uh, tonight when we get home. You're welcome. <laughs> um, anyway, made it to the area of the toy soldiers. Um, right next to this Main Street vehicle, you're gonna wanna walk through this gate right now. And uh, pray that there's no line. Wristbands, wristbands. Here we go. Merry Christmas to me. Oh, they have somebody giving commentary. There they go down there. Red velvet, white chocolate, macadamia nut. Oh, baby. Red velvet, you know what's up, buddy. So we see what's up, my friend. Wowzers, yo, what are they giving us? Ooh, ornaments, more. Hello, thank you. More ornaments. This is really cool. What a cool entrance. Christmas! It's so great to see you out! So we're by Tomorrowland Terrace. Where are we heading? Up. So we're gonna head up this way. Into, way too uh, yeah, it's way too crowded over there. That was such a cool meet. Yup. I'm so glad that Disney yeah. brought I'm so glad that Disney brought that. I'm trying to get this in Dumbo. Okay. And then by six o'clock, six or so I'm gonna go to my spot yeah. for the princess. Okay, yeah, because so I don't need to be first. I just need to be near. Yeah, so um, we plan on meeting like the princes by the castle wall, which I think is Flynn Rider, uh, the Snow White Prince. Castle wall. My dad's gonna go over there at six thirty. Love it. Sun is slowly but surely starting to set over Magic Kingdom. Um, my dad and I are heading into Storybook Circus to possibly head on Dumbo and Barnstormer. Fun fact, obviously there's two Dumbos in Storybook Circus, um, but which one is the original? The one that goes counterclockwise is the original. That is the original. All the cast members at Dumbo are like admiring my show right now. It's so cool. Yep, all set. Thank you. Love it. Here we go. Here we go. Up, up, and away. Up, up, and away. Yay. <laughs> Whee! 
Yes, I said what I said. I rather be famous instead. Yay! <laughs> Add a little bit of turbulence in there. Goes down. And then back up. Whee! <laughs> Heading over to, to the Tomorrowland Speedway. We have a lightning lane for that. It's about 5.30 now, 5.20, 5.30. Um, yep, it says 5.22. Um, and I'm starting to feel a few raindrops. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, that this party does not turn into a nightmare. Because even though the sun is technically starting to set, um, it, it is a little cloudy, and obviously with the raindrops now, fingers crossed that everything is okay. Off we go. PTA up there. The sun has set around Magic Kingdom. Um, my dad is waiting but for the princesses and princesses. So am I, obviously I just came to the side. Um, so we're gonna wait here for them, similar to the way we waited for the dwarves yesterday. And then once they come out, we'll meet them. And then obviously we're doing the parade. Okay. The parade, we should come back this way, maybe hit another snack spot. Okay. So, when the fireworks start, I want to be on that side. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we're still online. It's about seven minutes till party time. We're still online waiting for the princesses and princesses to come out right here. Um, at seven o'clock, we will be meeting Snow White, Snow White Prince, and who else? Aurora? Or, uh, Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip. Um, at 7.30 is when Flynn and Rapunzel come out. So unfortunately we won't be meeting them today, but as long as we're meeting somebody. My dad just mobile ordered Pecco's Bill uh, for dinner. And... and... Oh, and once we're done with the characters, we're gonna go into Pinocchio, Village House, and Columbia Humber House for some cocoa and cookies, which I'm looking forward to. Um, I didn't really get to enjoy the cookies and cocoa too much yesterday because we had a bunch of other party exclusive treats paid for. So tonight I plan on enjoying most of the cookies and cocoa because yesterday I didn't really get a chance to. Alright, so we don't have Snow White Prince and Snow White, but we have Rapunzel and Flynn. Hello, how are you? Hi, how are you? Happy holidays. Happy Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hi. Hello, great to see you. Happy holidays. This is Coco and Red Velvet Cookies. So we've made it to our parade spot. We're having some Pecos Bill food. We have a burger, some nachos, and some reindeer dessert over here. We're about an hour away from parade time. So we're just gonna relax here in Frontierland. There's Fiona's Bayou Adventure. There's my dad eating a burger. So we're gonna relax here until it's parade time. Um, in a few minutes, I will put on my swe Christmas sweater as well because I'm still wearing my day clothes. So we're just sitting here waiting for the parade. I've had like five Christmas cookies. Um, definitely say my personal favorite are the red velvet. Uh, cookies. Um, I'm not too much of a fan of the buttercream gingerbread because of the buttercream. The gingerbread cookie itself is okay. Um, but me and my dad are just sitting here waiting for the parade now. Same spot, same place. Um, but we were just talking about the highlights of this trip so far as tomorrow is pretty much our last day. Um, lighting has changed and I know it's pretty hard to see me. 
Um, oh, now it's really hard to see me. Anyway, um, so we were just talking about the highlights of our trip, and I have to say mine for yesterday was definitely seeing Art of Animation again. Um, seeing Art of Animation, uh, watching the parade from Main Street. Had some great views for that. I really hope you enjoyed that last week. And uh, just spending time with this one over here. Hey. Um, what about you? What are your, what are some highlights for you? I know you can't even see him. You just listen to his voice. You see his lights. Right? <laughs> you see the lights. I enjoyed the parade from Main Street. We've never watched a parade from that angle. Yeah. We're always like in frontier land. So that was really cool. It was cool seeing the dwarves too. Oh yeah, the dwarves. Yeah, that was cool. Um, we are about a half hour away from parade time. My camera is charging, so I'm gonna let that charge, and uh, once the parade begins, we'll get the festivity started. So I just counted what I had. I had three red velvet, one... Oh, that was probably the first stage show. Anyway, had three red velvet cookies, one gingerbread, one snickerdoodle, the entire, um, uh, the entire, uh, dessert thing from Pecco's Bill, and then, um, in case I didn't mention, our dinner for main dish was a, uh, bacon cheeseburger with nachos from Pecco's Bill, so that is quite literally dinner of champions, and, um, that was all from Pecos Bill, so Pecos Bill got some good stuff. <laughs> Pluto! Peter! Daisy! It's Lego Chippendale back there. Hopefully we can get a hello from them to make up for the Festival of Fantasy Parade earlier. Hi, Vanellope! Love your car! I was hoping she would hog at me. Chip! Chip! Dale! Hi, Dale! Looking good, Dale! Focus. Focus. There we go. What's up, Anna? Christmas, Anna. Television for this video. It smells so good.
so fun. Go meet Stitch. Where's Stitch meeting, Dad? By the Tiki Room, right? Yeah, Stitch is meeting by the Tiki Room, so we're cutting through Adventureland to try to make it to the Tiki Room for Stitch's meet and greet. So Stitch is actually meeting dressed as Elvis at the moment, which is so cool. Thank you. So, so Stitch was super fun. He was actually not wearing his Elvis outfit. He was actually wearing like a Hawaiian Christmas button down, which was really cool. Now we're actually over by the Agrabah section of Adventureland to meet either Genie and Jasmine or Aladdin and Abu. The line is relatively short, and so um, they should be out here like any second. So <laughs> can't wait for that. Yeah, Jeannie and Jasmine. There they go. So a quick little note is that uh, Jeannie and Jasmine and Aladdin and Abu do switch out um, each set here. So we just happening to catch the Jeannie and Jasmine set, which is at 9 o'clock. Um, if you want to meet Aladdin and Abu or Jeannie and Jasmine and you're not sure which time each comes out, make sure you take the times guide before the actual set. Um, we really didn't mind who we met. We were good with Aladdin, Abu, Genie, and Jasmine, whichever one. We're just happy to meet uh, characters at the moment. Um, so I can't wait to meet these two though. They're so excited. I've just put on. I've just put on the Christmas sweater. Uh, the Santa hat is still in my bag. It's just on the bottom right now, so I'm not gonna take everything out of it and put it on. I'll just whenever I get a second, I'll put on the Santa hat. I desperately need it too. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Jasmine. How are you? Great to see you, Jeannie. How are you? Uh, great to see you. Happy holidays. Are we doing anything fun for Christmas and the holidays? Well, Jeannie, of course, has been telling Aladdin and I, of course, how to celebrate all of the holidays. Perfect. We're decorating the palace, so we're thinking. So we're walking through the hub, looking absolutely beautiful, to try to get to, yeah, to try to get to Scrooge McDuck's meet and greet, which is over in Storybook Circus. We're hoping for a short line. In the event it is not a short line, we will keep it moving. We're not going to wait too long for him. The castle is looking beautiful. So, uh, Scrooge McDuck's line is actually a full 60 minutes. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go through one of the snack lines to get some cookies. Um, I'm all cookied out right now. I had like six. So, plus that uh, dessert that we had from Pecos Bill. So we're gonna go through the line and save them for like tomorrow or something like that. And then we're gonna actually head to the Tomorrowland dance party with Chippendale and Zootopia characters that we went to yesterday because of how much fun it was. So I'm sitting down over here enjoying the Collective Five in Tomorrowland. And I just wanted to give a quick little pro tip. Let's say you have an empty water bottle and you get thirsty, like I just did right now. There are water filling stations around the park. 
as well as water fountains, and you could just fill it up over here like I'm gonna do now. You don't have to worry about the water being warm or anything like that. Um, it's, it's cold, and it, but it is Florida water. Uh, I'm first of all making my way toward the castle to finish watching the stage show. Uh, it's around like 10 to 11 at the moment. All right, so, um, well I was in Tomorrowland by myself, showing you the water and how it's like good to refill. My dad comes to me and says he lost his magic bag. So, then we go to guest services, explain the whole situation. And in that, in through that time, it's through that time where I lost mine as well. It's unbelievable. I cannot believe it. So then, we, I actually find mine. And then a couple minutes later, my dad finds his. And that is why I've been occupied and it's been a while since I've last seen you. Um, we have not done much besides pay visits to guest services. I need to forget about that because that stressed me out way too much. Um, so now we're going to finish watching the stage show. Then my dad is holding a spot for the parade at the moment. Go, we are tired. That is probably why this whole thing happened. Uh, go ahead, make fun of me in the comments, please. I deserve it. Um, the 10.35 most merry celebration casual show. Um, and then I realized that I forgot to film the clip explaining how me and my dad managed to both lose magic bands. Um, I, I think it's worth noting that we did Tron Light Cycle Run as well, off camera. Um, I didn't film it because my camera desperately needed charging. It was on like the last 10%, so I was like, you know what? Well, whilst it's in the locker and we're on the ride, I'll just, uh, leave it, leave it. Um, and then Parada stepped off in front lands. I'm heading toward Main Street, USA, uh, to meet my dad for his spot, uh, for the parade. He has a spot near Town Square, I do believe. Um, and I'm also gonna, and I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally point the camera at him and say, did you lose your magic band? And did I lose it seconds after? And he's gonna nod his head and be like, yes, go. Um, anyway, we are having a fun time. I don't know if you can hear in my voice. M my voice is starting to sound very hoarse talking to you lovely people all day. Being a vlogger is just, a, it's a great thing, but your voice is sore after the end of the day. And then thing, distractions do happen. Like I didn't pick up this camera once for that entire hour ordeal of guest services to Tron. These performers that we saw yesterday in front of the tree are performing again. They did really well last night. They're good. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one on open sleigh. Love it. I'm still sitting here so ashamed that I needed to tell my viewers. My, this camera that I lost my magic band and my dad lost his magic band seconds apart and that is why we didn't even see the fireworks Minnie's uh, spectacular fireworks thankfully we saw them yesterday because then we wouldn't be able to see them we didn't even see them today they I'm so ashamed only could happen to me and my dad It's hard to tell on camera, but it's snowping. <laughs> Love it. Oh, there. Now you can tell. I just have to turn up the brightness on the camera. There it is. Snow. I'm meeting my dad opposite. 
exit of the train station and I'm trying to get there before the dancers like block everything off because then that's gonna be no 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 good and we don't need no more nonsense for tonight I think that whole Magic Randall deal I know I'm gonna gonna be chewed alive by the comment section for this one all right now I found an opening here I'm gonna go down this way this party goes by so quick though like the five hours here like so uh, we've been here since one o'clock and the time goes by unbelievably quick um, and I am gonna say that this despite the magic band problem and how careless a human could possibly be um, this has been such a magical day so far and I, I've loved every second of it. So Jack Skellington is a 20 minute wait at 11.04 p.m. Mickey Mouse is a 40 minute wait. Why is Mickey longer than Jack? I listen, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to the parade spot. I'm gonna meet my dad right around this area, I think he said. He said, he said train in front of the train station, opposite of the train. Now, where, what does that, oh, there he is. Yeah! So, uh, my dad is sitting down there. I've got a spot over here because after the parade, we plan on turning around to go meet Jack and Sally and possibly Mickey. Um, so that is why I've switched spots. Um, so I have a better advantage to just turn around and head into Town Square. The parade is on its way. I have a spot right behind Town Square. Um, let's see if I can get some photo pass options. Excuse me? Uh, can I, can I get a picture with that? Thank you. Let's do it. Thank you so much. Thank you. You too. Like eye level with her at the moment. <laughs> not part of the parade earlier and it's here for the 11 o'clock I guess it just wasn't here for the first one Hello. Hi. 
so um, my dad is all on for Jack. I'm gonna be meeting him on there. It's like, well, getting here was getting ran over by every single stroller out there. Like, please be careful with your stroller. My ankles, please. Look how, wow, look how cool. Made it online for Mickey. It is past midnight. The party is over. I'm tired. Straight nights in a row to the next day. Happy Saturday, everybody. This party was on a Friday. I'm gonna pop in the shop real quick. Um, so I'm gonna look around the shops for a bit and then I'm probably gonna wrap it up there. Oh, they're playing some retro Disney stuff on the TV over here, the projection. I love this hat over here. Oh, press here. What's it do? Uh, not sure what it does. No. Um, got some other hats over here, stuff like that. This is my area, the confectionery, the sweets. As if I did not have enough today. I'm crazy. But then again, I'm on vacation. These are delicious. I highly recommend these. I have some at home from my last trip, but these are amazing. I want some other Chippendale snacks as well. Um, I don't know where my dad is, but I'll, I hope he finds me in here. Because this is where he probably knows to find me. And then they're making some treats over here. I'm not trying to be creepy or anything. Hello. Look at all those homemade treats. Back there, they're making the apples. Disney, you're the best. <laughs> oh, I just love that. I want some, ooh, uh, crunchy, crunchy spicy mix. Do they just have regular mix? They have nutty berry mix, honey roasted peanuts, sesame sticks. These are, these, that does not sound bad. This is what I want. Butter toffee peanuts. I might have to call my dad, tell him to get me this. Yeah. These Rice crispy Treats look fantastic. My God. Ooh, especially the Christmas themed one. And yes, my dad is on his way over to the confectionery because I called him saying, I want this. <laughs> I told him, you get yourself over here right now. <laughs> Disney 100 cotton candy. What would I do without this? <laughs> You can get it for me? Yeah. Thanks. So, we're done on the other side? Uh, I haven't really went over to the other side. So, I think that is going to do it for today. Today was such an amazing day. Long day, tiring day. I'm tired. But it was a... Oh, look, snow. Um, but it was a, such a fun day. Um... Highlight of the day, definitely seeing the parade, losing two magic bands in the course of one hour. That was, that was interesting. So losing two magic bands in the course of an hour and the Christmas parade. Um, seeing the toy soldiers for the first time. Um, seeing Flynn Rider and stuff like that was, is always super fun. So, I do think that is going to do it for this video. I'm heading the wrong way. I'm supposed to be heading to the exit because I'm tired. Hollywood Studios Day, our last full day in Walt Disney World for this trip. But fear not, after Hollywood Studios Day, there is some more trips planned for the near future. So I will not be gone too long. So with the tree in the background, thank you, tree. Thank you so much for watching. Please like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to. Subscribe if you'd like to. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Have a great day. Night. Morning. Whatever. Whenever you're watching this. Bye.